Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello, dear readers. Hello to you. สวัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหม Welcome. I hope you all are doing well. It's me, Miss Stephanie, welcoming you to another fun story time. Um, I don't even remember how many this is now. I've been having so much fun with you guys. And right now, I don't even know what time it is where you are. If you've never been to story time with me before, you, I want to let you know that I actually live in Thailand. Um, so. If you live in a different place, our time will be different. So it's kind of interesting how the time is different on different parts of the world. Well, anyway, speaking of time, looking at my watch and knowing how things go in my story time. If you've been to story time with me, you know exactly what time it is right now. Whether it's morning, noon, or night. It's time to rise and shine and get ready for story time. Here we go. Rise and shine and welcome to story time. Rise and shine and welcome to story time. Rise and shine and welcome to story time. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're glad too. Rise and shine and. Welcome to story time. Rise and shine, and welcome to story time. Rise and shine, and welcome to story time. I'm so glad you're here. Last one. Let's whisper. Rise and shine, and welcome to story time. Rise and shine, and welcome to story time. Rise and shine. And welcome to story time. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, guys. Those were some good whispers, by the way. I always forget to whisper because I get so excited. Anyway, so glad that you could join us for story time today. I see. Let me see. Oh, I see a lot of you out there. So glad you could make it. Well, you know, last time, if you were with us last time, I I can't wait to talk to you about what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, I would like to please, please, please just get a few more wiggles out. So this one's a really quick one. It might be new to you, new little wiggle dance to get our wiggles out before we listen to a story. Um, you guys are really good at this, by the way. Dancing and getting your wiggles out. So if you'll do me a favor and please stand up. Oh, nice job, guys! You stood up right where your feet were. Now, stand up really straight and tall like a statue. Perfect. Let me see. Oh, I can see you. Make sure I can still see you. Okay. I don't know if you all have ever heard this one. This wiggle. It's called head, shoulders, and you can't see the rest of me, but knees and toes. You guys know where your knees are, your toes. Yeah, your toes are on your feet. Your knees are. Kind of towards the middle of your leg. Okay, check it out. Talk to your family. Make sure you guys know where all those parts are. Thumbs up. Okay. All right. So here we go. All you have to do is copy what I do. It's real easy. Here we go. It's called head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Here we go. Head, shoulders. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. When you say the part of your body, you touch it. Okay. Here we go. Let's try again. Rewind. Okay. Start over. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. I can't touch my toe because I'm sitting in a chair right now, and the table's in the way. Sorry. Okay, but you guys are doing great. I see you. Okay, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Woo! You guys are good. All right, let's go a little faster. Say, ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Get yourselves ready. Go a little faster. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Ooh, good. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Ooh. Okay, last one. This one's gonna be super fast. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, so excited. Ooh, ready? Let's get ourselves ready. We know how it starts. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. 
Head, shoulders, knees, and chest, knees, and chest. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and chest, knees, and chest. Woo, that was good. You guys are so fast. That was so fun. All right, go ahead and stretch your hands up really high. Make yourself float down to the floor. Sitting, sitting on the floor. Hands in your lap. Perfect. Oh, you guys are so ready. That was a good job getting your wheels out. Okay, so before I was getting my stories for today, I was thinking about last week. So last week we had story time about Earth Day. <laughs> it was so fun. And I read about the Lorax. And I was remembering, you know, I like to remember stories that we read. And I was remembering how the Lorax um, really talked to us about how we need air and we need water and we need food to live and survive on the earth. And I was like, oh yeah, I know I need food. I need to eat so that my body is healthy. And then I, I thought, hmm, see this is my thinking face. I thought, hmm, am I the only, only person or animal or living thing that needs to eat to survive? Hmm, I was just thinking that, I was wondering. And then I realized as I thought about it more, I'm like, no, everyone eats, everyone eats, yeah. Huh, so of course I started thinking about food, then I got hungry, and then I had to make dinner, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the reason I'm telling you what I was thinking it's because it helped me find the perfect book to start today. It's called <laughs> Everyone Eats. Look. Oh, are you guys surprised? Yeah, there's animals. <laughs> Other animals eat too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at that. See that animal on the cover? Oh, I see you guys noticing. If you think you know what that animal is, wave at me like this. Oh, wow, a few of you know. And I see his, this animal is eating. Looks like he's eating some grass. Hmm, interesting, right? I wonder if all the animals, like, I wonder if they're all going to eat the same thing in this book. It's called Everyone Eats by Brenda Parks. The author is Brenda Parks. And remember, the pictures are photographs. They are actual pictures taken by a camera. Yeah. Everyone Eats. Hmm. Let's see what animals are in here. Other animals that eat. I mean, I eat. Let's see if... I don't eat grass, though. Do you guys? No. Yeah, so this animal on the front already eats different food than I do. Yeah. Everyone eats. Notice the animal you see in this picture. Oh, an elephant. Yeah. Oh, I love elephants. <laughs> Looks like... Oh, you'll have to look at that picture later. Well, let me show it to you again closer. What do you see that the elephant might be eating? Hmm. Talk with your family about that. Yeah, it looks like some kind of plant. Okay, let's see. I'm going to read this. I'm going to show you this picture and then I'll um, read the sentence with you. Look at this says, A bird likes to eat worms. Ooh, whoa, interesting. Look at that worm hanging out of the bird's mouth. Hmm, so birds like to eat worms. Hmm. That's different than me, yeah. Let's see the next animal. Oh, the next animal is a bear. Oh, hmm. a bear, sorry, a bear likes to eat berries. Hmm. hmm. So the bird and the bear they both need to eat, like us, but are they eating the same type of food? No, different. Interesting. Oh, I love these animals. A giraffe likes to eat leaves. Oh my gosh, look at that giraffe. Lucky for giraffes, you know, because leaves are up in a tall tree. Lucky they have long necks that can reach those leaves, right? Maybe they can also eat leaves off of short bushes, though, too. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, 
actually a good question. I wonder if they can eat all leaves or if they have to eat a special type of leaf. I don't know. The other animal in this next page, you see that animal? Yeah, rabbit, good. A rabbit likes to eat grass. <gasps> hey, there was another animal picture we saw that was eating grass too. What, what? Oh, you're right, on the cover. The hippopotamus. Oh my gosh. I think that's a hippopotamus, yeah. Oh, this is so interesting, you guys. All the animals, they all eat, but they, it's, their type of food that they eat is unique to them, like what they like to eat. <laughs> Look at this picture, you guys. What animal do you see there? You're right, a frog, yes. And look at his tongue, oh my gosh. A frog likes to eat bugs. Oh, look at that. His tongue is gonna go get that bug. Oh, wow. Oh, what's this animal? Oh, a squirrel, yes. I've seen a squirrel before, have you guys? Yeah, me too. They like to be in trees, you're right. A squirrel likes to eat nuts. Aw, look at it. <laughs> I always love their little hands. Little tiny people hands, it looks like. <laughs> so cute. Aw, uh, oh, look at this picture of people. What do we like to eat? And these people, these children, this boy and this girl on this in this picture, what do you see that they like to eat? Ice cream, ooh. You know what? Some people, a lot of people like ice cream, but I know some that do not like to eat ice cream. But a lot of people do, I do, yeah. Oh, good question. The end of the book always makes us think. It says, what animals have you seen? What do they eat? So maybe what animals have you seen in this book? Um, do you remember what they liked to eat? Or maybe you have actually seen other animals in other places, learned about other animals, and know of different foods that they like to eat. You guys should talk about that. Hmm. You know, my favorite animal is a whale, a big whale, and um, a blue whale, and their favorite food that they, they like to eat the most is called krill. And I just thought that was crazy because the whale's huge and krill, if you look it up, they're very small. So small. Anyway. Anyway. So speaking of this, you noticed all the animals, most of them, ate something different. They liked different foods. Hmm. Do you like different foods, I wonder? Hmm. Do you have a favorite food that you just, oh, you like it so much you could eat it, eat it, eat it every day? I do too, yeah. What is your favorite food? Hmm. Oh, I see some of you thinking. And some of you, if you've thought of your favorite food that you like to eat all the time, give me a thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, my favorite food that I like to eat so much is a cheeseburger. I really like to eat a cheeseburger. I don't know why, it's my favorite. I don't know why. I eat other foods now. Um, you know, I, of course, I don't eat it all the time because that wouldn't be too healthy for me. But I do like to have a good cheeseburger, yum. Now, you know, I was thinking about that. I thought, how did I know I liked a cheeseburger? I mean, I wasn't just born and like a baby and then was like, oh, I love cheeseburgers. No. I thought about it. I thought, I had to try it first, right? Yeah, I had to taste it. Yes, yeah. You guys are all nodding. Yeah, I had to taste it to know if I liked it. So, it is true, you know, we all, we all eat different kinds of foods. And how do we know we liked it? Is we had to taste it. Exactly. Sometimes we taste foods, right? And we're like, ooh, no thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> but at least we tried it. We never know until we try it. Anyway, I, for example, when I was little, or just younger, I used to only eat certain foods. 
Like I used to only eat chicken nuggets or I used to only eat that kind of food. And if somebody said, oh, you should try, mm, you should try spinach or you should try broccoli. I used to say, oh, oof, oh, I don't like it. But I really didn't know because I hadn't tried it yet. But now, I've tried so many different kinds of food since I moved here to Thailand especially. I have tried so many different kinds of food and am so happy I did because I have learned that I like more food than I thought. I gave it a try. I gave it a chance. Anyway, are some of you that way where you're like, oh, I can only eat this food. I don't like any other food. You might want to just give it a little taste, you know? Even if you taste it and you don't like it, okay. But at least give it a try. You never know. You never know. Okay, anyway. What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is if you would please... Sorry, let me put my glasses on here. <clears throat> if you would please, before we read our next story, I would love to get just a few more wiggles out. If you do need to go to the restroom or take a break, you can. But I think we're okay. Uh, but if not, take a break, come back, pause me, start me over. <laughs> but that first book was pretty short. Anyway, my other new, this might not be new to you, but it might, it's new to our story time. I haven't done it with story time. I have two new songs. We did Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes just a second ago to get our wiggles out. And right now we're going to do um, just a quick, short, short dance called the Hokey Pokey. Have any of you out there heard of the Hokey Pokey? Oh, <laughs> some of you are already ready. Okay, go ahead and stand where your feet are. All right. With the Hokey Pokey, the song um, tells you to put a certain hand in. So like as if there's there's space in front of you. So make sure you have space in front of you. Okay, yes. And you're gonna put your hand in and then you're gonna take it out. Now, just copy exactly what I'm doing. If your parents are watching, they might think I'm doing it with the wrong hand, but I'm doing it in a way so you can just copy me and you'll be doing it with the correct hand. Okay? So, here we go. I want you to stand up and make sure you're facing the screen. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to start with our our right hand. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm going to scoot back a little bit more. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Y'all standing? Okay, here we go. You put your right hand in, you take your right hand out. You put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey. And you guys are going to turn around and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Hokey pokey. Got it? You put, now you're going to do the other hand, which is the left hand. You put your left hand in, you take your left hand out, you put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Hokey pokey. Good job. Okay, here's our next one. This is my favorite. One of my favorites. Here we go. We're going to put our head in. Here we go. You put your head in, you take your head out. You put your head in and you shake it all about. <laughs> you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Hokey pokey. Ready? Oh, I gotta scoot closer for this next one. <laughs> you put your, it's gonna be your lips, here we go. You put your lips in, you take your lips out. You put your lips in and you shake them all out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what, oh, that's what it's all about. Hokey pokey. Good job, 
guys, just a quick short wiggle to get our wiggles out and go ahead and have a seat. Nice job. That was super fun. You know what I just realized? I read that first book without my glasses. I was wondering why it was hard for me to see those words. Did you guys notice I was like squinting a little bit? Sorry about that. I forgot to put my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, um, so before we sat down, we were talking about all those animals and how they like to eat different types of food and how we eat different types of food and sometimes we don't want to try new things, you know. I know, me too. I know sometimes I don't want to try new food and, and, um, and people ask me to do it, but now I've gotten much better. I'm so happy because I like a, a lot of foods I didn't know that I liked. Well, my favorite author, Dr. Seuss, wrote a book about someone just like me who liked, knew the kinds of food that he liked and really wasn't wanting to try new things. I would love to read this story to you. It is called, and maybe you've heard of it, Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> you guys have heard of it. Yep. Green Eggs and Ham. You are exactly right. So this book, Green Eggs and Ham, is by Dr. Seuss. Let's see what happens in this story. Hmm. <laughs> I am Sam. Oh, okay. I'm going to read the, the words and then I'll show you the picture. <laughs> and he just rides the animal out. I am Sam. And now there's another character sitting in a chair. He rode past him. See, he went, ooh. And that guy's like, who's that guy? What's he doing? Why is he carrying a sign that says, I am Sam? Let's see. Here he, go. <laughs> Here he comes back. Sam, I am. Ooh. Different sign. Hmm. Almost like he's introducing himself to that guy, right? Oh, that guy is not very happy with him because he keeps, I don't know why. But he says, that's Sam I am, that's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Oh, maybe he didn't get enough rest. He's kind of grumpy. Look at his little face. Oh, maybe he's had a bad day. Maybe. Here comes Sam again. Do you like green eggs and ham? Hmm. Hmm. He's looking at it. His face. See his face. He's not sure. He's like, mm, I'm not sure about that. Oh. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Okay. He seems pretty sure. Okay. To be honest with you, I've never had green eggs and ham, so I don't know. Would you like them here or there? Oh, he's giving him an option of different places to try. Mm. That guy's not having it. He doesn't look very excited. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. He's trying to tell him, look, I just don't like them. Look at Sam is down there. He's still trying to get him just to try him. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I mean, he thought maybe if I just put him in a different place. He'd at least try him. Look, the mouse is ready. Oh. Let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Mm. not feeling very excited to try those. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? That's Sam. He keeps trying to help his friend try or help this gentleman try. Look, I mean that fox looks real happy like he'd like to try them. 
Not in a box, not with a fox. Not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Hmm. No, he says no thank you. He should say no thank you, actually. <laughs> Oh, would you, could you in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would not, could not in a car. <laughs> okay, look, you guys. There's the mouse. There's the fox from the box. And then, oh, my gosh, he's on the front of the car. Should be careful. You may like them. You will see. You may like them in a tree. <laughs> Sam, I am. Look at him. He keeps on trying. And it, this gentleman is... Kind of scared being on the front of that car, I think. Let's see if he'll try them in a tree. Mm, not looking good, guys. I would not, could not in a tree. Not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. You got it. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. You got it. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Oh, sorry, I almost turned the page. Oh, look at his, he's really upset. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? What do you guys think? What do you predict? You think maybe he'll try it on the train? Thumbs up if you think he's going to try it. Oh, okay. Thumbs down if you think no way. Oh, okay. Some of you, some of you say no. Some of you say yes. <gasps> not on a train. Not in a tree. Not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. <laughs> I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Oh my gosh, look. He's busy telling Sam I am, I'm not going to eat them anywhere, but he's not noticing, uh-oh, we're going into a tunnel. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, it's dark. Say, in the dark. Here in the dark. Would you, could you, in the dark? I would not could not in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, this gentleman is quite patient with Sam I Am, you know? I mean, he's... He's using his words, telling him no, thank you. I mean, he's just telling me, I can't. No, I'm not going to try. But Sam I Am's not giving up. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain. Not in the dark, not on a train. Not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box. Not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Okay, see, he's being very patient, explaining himself. So Sam I Am says, you do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I Am. Oh, is Sam I Am going to give up? Maybe he's just going to give up and let it be. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> could you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Look at the car. It's getting quite full. Look. There's a mouse. There's a fox. There's a goat. <laughs> oh, would you, could you on a boat? Oh, my gosh, you guys. They're falling into a boat. Oh, no. I hope they're going to be okay. <laughs> I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark. Not in a tree. Not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. <laughs> you guys said it. 
Good job. Oh my gosh. It's like a, everybody's flying out of the car. They fell in the water. Hopefully they're going to... Oh, I hope they can swim. I do not like green eggs and ham. They are all in the water. This guy's driving still, like as if nothing's happened. Interesting. <laughs> this guy too. <sighs> oh, they're... I do not like them, Sam I am. They're underwater. Look at the air bubbles. Hmm. You do not like them, so you say? Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. That's all Sam I am wanting to do is try them. Just take a taste. Ooh, let's see. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. Look. This poor guy is just so tired. He's like, okay, I'll try them. But he's never tried them before. Who knows? Oh, this is <laughs> this is exactly how I look when I'm trying something new. How about you? I'm like, mm, not sure. Everybody's watching. Look, everyone. They're all watching. Oh, he ate it. Sam! green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. Look at his face. He's pleasantly surprised. He says, oh, I do like them. Who knew? <laughs> See, that, that happened to me, too. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They are so, so good, you see. <laughs> So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse, and I will eat them here and there. I will eat them anywhere. Oh, look at everybody so happy for him. They're like, yay. <laughs> They're excited. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. <laughs> uh, it's good to have friends like that, you know, that help, that make you try things you might not have tried before. Uh, I love that. Anyway, I hope you like that story. Um, it is true. You don't ever know if you like something till you try it. So remember that in your brain whenever you're... Um, eating food or just trying something new. It could be like a dance or a new um, new problem in math. Um, don't forget, just try. You never know. Um, today, we do have an activity. Um, it's going to, it has to do with eggs, um, since we just read the story Green Eggs and Ham. But I have to move over to my kitchen, so I'm gonna pause for a second. This would be a good time for you to take a, a little snack break or a restroom break if you need to, and then I'll see you in just a moment. Okay. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I don't think you guys have ever been in my kitchen before. Um, today, I am doing our activity in the kitchen because that's the best place to do it. Um, it might it might get messy and you wanna have, make sure you do it in a place that's easy to clean up. So today, um, we are going to do an experiment using these materials. You will need vinegar, just white vinegar. It doesn't have to be this brand, just white vinegar. You will need a clear glass. I, if it could be smooth, it's easier, but it's, it's good to have a clear glass with a wide mouth at the top um, so you can observe what's happening in the glass. And you will also need, hold on one second. Sorry about that. You will also need, my fault, sorry, I hope you can still hear me. Hi, here yeah, I'm back. You will also need an egg. So the three materials you need are vinegar, white vinegar, an egg, and a glass. Now, 
we have talked about eggs before and we've looked at eggs before. So what I want you to do is remember, oh, and please make sure you do this with an adult. Um, and whatever adult, whoever is doing this with you, you could use an egg that is raw, meaning that the word raw means it hasn't been cooked, or you can use um, a hard boiled egg. It's up to you. My eggs that I'm using are raw, um, so just letting you know. But if you are using an egg, remember that they're fragile. That means that they're not very sturdy. You have to be gentle with them. They could break, so you have to be gentle. But I want you to look at your egg. I want you to observe the egg. I want you to feel it. I want you to tap it. Notice the shell. How does it feel? Is it soft? Is it hard? Um, does it make noise? Just kind of really observe your egg before you do anything with it. The other material that I told you you would need is vinegar and a glass. So what I'm going to ask you to do is in a minute we're going to um, put the egg into vinegar that's in the glass. Before we do that though, remember, observe your egg just outside before you do anything, then you're going to make a prediction of what you think will happen to the egg if you put it in the vinegar. You want to make that prediction. That means your educated guess, your guess of what your brain thinks will happen to the egg if you put it in vinegar. With the vinegar, I do want you to observe that as well. Vinegar, I want you to smell it. I want you, if your family thinks it's okay, take a little taste if you want. It's okay to do. Um, and then before you put it together with the egg. Now, when putting the egg, no, sorry. And then make your prediction of what you think will happen when you put the egg into the vinegar. Now, once you've made your prediction of what you think is going to happen, then you will put, let me show you what I'm doing. Let me just show you, okay. Here's the glass and the egg. You'll notice I have a spoon and I'll show you why. Because you want to use the spoon to lower the egg down carefully so it doesn't hit the bottom of the glass hard and crack. See how I did that? Okay, then what you want to do is pour the vinegar in to the glass. You notice my eggs are brown, but that's just how I bought them. If your egg is white, that's okay. That's quite all right. I need to put a little bit more vinegar because you'll notice the top is still um, poking out a little bit, and that's okay, but I'm just going to put a little bit more. Okay? So I'm putting a little bit more. Now, you notice I'm doing it on this pan just for spills and any messes makes it easier to clean up. Now what you're going to do guys is you can just sit and observe and watch your egg and kind of look at what you notice happening. Adult <laughs> and child who are doing this experiment, you will leave this egg in this vinegar for a whole day. You'll have to leave it for 24 hours. So I guess I should have told you that before you made your prediction. You will be putting this egg in vinegar for 24 hours. Your prediction should be what do you think will happen when you put this egg in vinegar for 24 hours. Hmm, interesting, right? So I will let you know there's a little spoiler at the end of this video because I am going to show you what happened to my egg. Um, so if you don't want to know yet, stop it here and do your experiment and then come back later and play this video again after you've done your experiment and see if what happened to your egg is the same as what happened to my egg. Okay? <laughs> now, um, so that's the experiment. Basically, finding out what happens when you put an egg in vinegar. Remember, it can be a raw egg or it can be a 
hard boiled egg to find out what happens. Now, I'm going to leave this here. Oh my gosh, I'm already observing something here. I'll show you. Let's see if you guys can see. What are you noticing just so far? Okay? All right. I'm just no just talk with your family about what you're noticing on my egg. Now, I don't know if it matters what type of vinegar you use, but that's the cool thing about science is and activities like this is whatever you do, you just get to observe and you can make your guesses, your predictions to see what will happen. And then you find out what happened, the results, and you get to talk about why and why do we think that happened. That's what I love about them. Now, one of the things I asked myself was, I was wondering, hmm, you know, we just read a story called Green Eggs and Ham, and I was wondering, I wonder if we wanted to make our own, I don't even know if it would do it, to be honest with you. I was thinking, I have food coloring. I wonder if I added a few drops to my, um, a few drops of color to my vinegar, if it would affect the egg in any way. I don't know, because I haven't, my other egg I didn't do that to. So for me, this is new, okay? My other egg, the spoiler, meaning the what will tell you what happened to my egg anyway. I don't know, something different might happen to your egg. But um, I'm going to try it. I'm gonna just, in this new, in this one, for me, I'm going to make, I'm gonna make my own prediction in my head of what I think will happen with this. If I put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and make it green. I'm gonna use my green. But if you don't have green or you just want your favorite color, I'm gonna put a few drops here we go, of uh, food coloring in here. We'll put a few drops in there. Yeah, we'll just let it be in there, see if it, if anything happens. I'm just gonna leave that like that. Okay, all right. Okay, so, sorry. So, I would stop this video now if you wanna wait to find out the results of my egg. And then do your experiment and then come back and we can compare, see what happens. Okay, giving people a chance to go or pause. Okay, I'm gonna put this egg over, that's my new one. This egg is the one I have already, let me show you, is the one I've already done. It's been in the vinegar for at least 24 hours, if not more, and um, I am going to use my spoon and scoop it out. If you notice, you know what I'm noticing? It's floating off, look, it's off the bottom of the glass. And to me, it looks a little fatter than it was. I don't know, it just looks like that to me. I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm gonna carefully get it out. And I'm just gonna hold it there and I'm gonna, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, look. I don't know if you can see, you can't even see, but look, look, when my finger touches, it bends, look. Look, like a ball, look. It's so, it used to have a hard shell, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Okay, okay. I'm gonna move this out, the cup, and I'm gonna hold it carefully, low to the pen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, look, watch what happens. It, you guys, it bounces. Look, here it goes again. Oh, I made a, my egg bounces. Oh my gosh, what happened to the egg? What? That is so crazy. It's not hard like it was before. What I'm noticing is the shell is not hard. What's left is like a little, like a skin. Now this is a raw egg, so when bouncing, you notice I'm holding it low to the pan because if it were to pop open, it would just be here on the pan. If you hold it too high, it will make a big mess, so you've got to be careful there <laughs> and you don't want to get raw egg everywhere. I kind of want to try to put this, I'm going to put question is I wonder what happens if I leave it in longer for another day so I'm gonna put this back in for another day 
and I am going to add another color. I think I'm going to add, hmm, see, let's do blue. I'm going to add blue. Let's see what happens to the egg. Notice that when I took it out and now I've just put it back in, after I bounced it, it's not floating as high anymore. Did you notice that, guys? Interesting. Anyway, this is my, this is our activity. I'm gonna see what happens if I add blue to this one. And what I'm doing to this one is I'm adding time. I'm gonna leave it in here for a whole other day. Thank you guys for joining me for story time. I've had so much fun with you. I hope you have a great time with your egg experiment. Um, and I'd love to hear what happens. So if you guys could leave me some messages down underneath, under here, just leave some notes of what happened or pictures of your eggs. I would love to see it. Okay, I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your day. I'll see you next week for our next story time. Bye.